Honorable Chief Guests, uh, Mr. Sujit Singh Chowdhury, dignitaries on the dais and guests, uh, it's my proud privilege to propose the word of thanks and also uh, concluding remarks. And let me start by first thanking uh, Mr. Jasubai, Malik Jasubai, for really providing the leadership to create this platform uh, to bring in diverse stakeholders in this ecosystem of chemistry uh, so we can really articulate some of the challenges and opportunities that we have. Um, thank you, Mr. Jasubai, for really taking this initiative. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank both Mr. Narayan and Vipul, who in their capacities as the chairman of the two, the EPC and the specialty chemicals, really provided the, the thought and the guidance be, behind designing these conference for the next four days. Um, and I particularly know that Whipple has been spearheading. I, I had the privilege of working with him to design or help in the, chemi uh, the specialty chemicals uh, segment of it and how he really forced us to think about new ways of doing this and bringing in this whole panel discussion format so that we can have greater output out of the discussions that we have here. Uh, our uh, uh, guest lecture, Mr. Purvaha, thank you for really articulating some of the issues that the EPC contractors or the EPC companies in the country today face in terms of reputation, in terms of the need to really balance the paradox between speed and accuracy, between cost and getting the job done well, and, and also talking about the need to do this in order to capitalize the huge opportunities that are you know, throwing up both in the country and on the global level. Uh, I think, I'm sure in the next three to four days, uh, this will be on the top of the mind of number of people who will deliberate in these uh, discussions. Our two guests from abroad, Martin and Heinz, uh, really uh, f the first thing I think all of us would uh, probably appreciate is uh, their recognition of the positivity that has set in, in India and the optimism that they have for India. At the same time, I think what came out very strongly from both of these speakers is the changing dynamics in the chemical industry owing to the shale gas and also the overcapacity in China and the need to be very customer centric and need to really uh, look at this market and look at how to service our customers and how to look for new opportunities in new uh, different ways. This really came out very powerfully and I think this will also be a very important aspect that all of us will need to keep in mind as we deliberate over the next four days. Um, finally, sir, um, Mr. Sujit Singh Chowdhury, I think gave a very good perspective about how the chemical industry can contribute to our Prime Minister's vision of make in India, particularly make in India with zero defect. Uh, it was also very interesting that he pointed out some of the policy lacunas that is holding this industry back. For example, how after opening up of the industry in the 90s, the imports have actually perhaps exceeded and, and maybe we will see some policies which will actually encourage local manufacturing even more at the expense and this is really would be a good uh, for this industry and also at the same time he was also very clearly articulating the need for all of us to be very responsible about how we deal with our waste and also responsible about how we manufacture adopting responsible care principles. I think these would also be very valuable messages that we need to keep in mind over the next few days. Uh, as I again conclude, I think what is what I would like to, from my personal perspective, talk about is the huge challenges that we face globally and in this country and how chemistry can be a big enabler uh, to address and create sustainable solution for some of these. Uh, challenges that we will face very soon and we already face here in the country and globally. But I think in order to come up with those solutions, uh, it is a great need to co-create and join hands because some of these challenges cannot be addressed by one company, one individual or one institution. And the next four days is going to create this and offer this great platform for co-creation. And for that, to happen, I think the most important thing is, of course, the chemistry between all of us. And once we have that chemistry, 
I think we can easily use chemistry as an enabler for coming up with sustainable solutions. With that, I want to again thank the organizers and all of you here and wish you a great uh, meeting and deliberations here. Thank you.